We're Bea and Simo, and today we're continuing our adventure on the Isle of Skye by exploring a waterfall that enters the ocean, hunting for dinosaur footprints, and doing one of our favorite hikes. The best way to start a Scotland video with this song, of course. I have enough of this song. <laughs> Warning. The place we're going to see now, it's very beautiful, but... Dangerously crowded. Absolutely. There are so many people, but we're stopping now because we have so many things that we want to see and the journey continues. But it's just a warning that there are so many people. What are we doing? <laughs> She's like, babe, I don't care. I want to go. Yeah, it was a boat. It was not a whale. I want to be not <laughs> I won't binocular. The name in English is binoculars. I just searched it. But we would love to have them because they say that from here you can see whales and where it's one species species? Yeah, the minky whale. Yeah. And dolphins. dolphins. Like all the way around, mostly in summer, so it would be really nice to actually see them but also have binoculars. But yeah. So maybe the next day we will buy but one. I, want, I really want to yeah. find a place to buy it. Yeah. Because it, it would be a shame to don't see but them. But also, also for birds, maybe we can see, yeah, spot some eagles and seals. And, seals. and maybe puffins or polar bears. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and see over there, see <laughs> I think I will never buy one. Never. Never. Smile, so I'll take a photo of you. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> the guide today tells you guys that from where we parked our super van that brought everyone here for the tour guide. <laughs> I feel stupid. <laughs> um, there is a lake and from this lake there is a little tiny river and it's actually back here and from the river there is the waterfall and from the waterfall to the ocean. Can I show them? Yes. <laughs> Voila! And it the starts river. from there. Where Arthur is, you cannot see it. Wow, yeah this is the grass. End of this beautiful place, the tour ends here. So let's go away from the people. <laughs> I want to precise, guys, that we don't hate staying in the middle of people. It's just like we don't like to be overcrowded and we like to stay with people that we choose to stay with, yeah. not just tourists. And there are too many Mess. energies for us. Mm -hmm. We like to enjoy the places by ourselves or with people that we know we can enjoy our time with. So don't get us mad we hate overcrowded but we enjoy staying with people yeah this is how we wash our clothes and we honestly cannot live without it anymore you just need some clean water that we get from rivers or lakes and wash it with natural detergents it has been a game changer when living in a van as you can wash it whenever you need and saves up so much money you can buy it through our link in the description below <laughs> Who needs a washing machine? No one, because it costs too much. <laughs> and this is perfect. And you save a lot of water. You save a lot of water. It's eco-friendly. You can bring it wherever you want, even on the top of 3,000 meters in the highest mountain of this world. And it's perfect. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> After washing some stuff, we headed to a very special night location. Tour guide, we came, <laughs> we came to this spot that is 
so nice. We were just afraid that they were made just because from some comments of people that were. But there's nothing for now. And yeah, up until happy. now we haven't seen one. Yes. And we waited for some crowd to go away. We had dinner, so right now I'm a little bit sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> but we saw this light coming out. What is this? Sun? Yeah, it's so beautiful. And we just came to this beach because there should be some dinosaur footprints and it's pretty impressive it was like what 16,000 years ago no me millions 16 mil okay <laughs> um, so so many years ago it said that the dinosaurs part of these dinosaurs were here because at the beginning this area of sky was just below the equator mm -hmm. and where they left their footprints on the mud and then layers of mud um, there were more layers of mud that went on top of it so the footprint remained as it is and there should be 13 or 14 of these footprints so let's hope to see at least one we waited for the low tide because there was a high tide earlier so now that there's a low tide and the sun we're going to hunt for dinosaur footprints <laughs> You see, like the old man that is watching over the the works. The works. <laughs> You're practicing for when you be older. <laughs> I will be uh, a good old man. man because of all the practice that you're doing. <laughs> Starting from dinosaurs' footprint. It's kind of a shame because there are so many seaweeds that it was written when there is a high tide and mostly in summer there are so many seaweeds that of course they just cover all the footprints and cover all the, the rocks as you can see so we have seen some of them of different sizes but there is one in particular that you can clearly see that it was from a dinosaur i actually don't know which kind of dinosaur it was from simo have you read it uh, yeah i think i saw the image okay well um it's a carnivorous one uh, yeah it's a carnivorous one but i don't remember the name well um i'll so just show it here seaweeds. Yeah, thank you seaweeds because we are so into these things because we actually, it is, it interests us a lot knowing that certain things happened here, but it actually was so many years ago, like animals that we cannot even imagine because we live in completely different lives and worlds, I would say. There's one, two, this could be another one. It's big like half of Nala. Yes, as you can <laughs> see from my foot. They're kind of big. Maybe I found another one. Which one? Because you see here, that goes inside this one, this part here, and this one. See, it's, I don't know, maybe it's... It's too deep. 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 Sorry. I don't know. I'm not an archaeologist. Unfortunately. No. Wish we could be like everything to discover these things. Who knows? Maybe it could be another one. What's happening? Are you serious? Oh wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I don't know. But the shapes remind... You see, here, here, Two. and here. With your head I cannot see it properly. Oh wow. Okay. This is impressive. 
If it's real, it's really impressive. If it's real. Yeah, like, guys, everything that we're showing you, it's what we see. Yeah. We are not archaeologists. We, we are just basing, but we are just based on what we see, the photos we have seen, yeah. what there is written on top. So it could be like it could not be. So just... But it's fine too. <laughs> it's, it's good to imagine and just, yeah. So have fun with us guys. <laughs> Being here right now and searching for dinosaur footprints in the Isle of Skye while living in a van and just doing what feels good to do. Yes, it's this one, I think. I think it's super clear. Oh, yes. This is the one I was searching for. <gasps> good job. Good job. Good, good, good job. It's this one. Okay, this one we know for sure, guys. It's, it's yeah, real. So clear. Yes. You can see it. Wow. And see how big this, this is. Yeah. It's like three times my foot. Yeah, kind of. Wow. Waking up with the sun is one of the best feelings and we took advantage of it to go and do a hike. Just the road to the car park was incredible, with this view over the mountains and not only cows but also calves in the middle of the road. This one is the cutest one. Give me my sandwich. Yeah. This is what remains at home. Jam. We finished the peanut butter. And here in Sky, there are no big supermarkets with peanut butter. <laughs> But luckily just for a short part, like where we arrived there, now we have to go that way, wow. And honestly, by far, this is our favorite hike Blue from Scotland. Scotland. Yes, it's really beautiful for the views, for the path, that it's, I, I would say quite easy. Yeah. Like, but it always changes, not always the same. It doesn't always go straight up, it changes a lot. And we just love it also because it changes. There are so many ups and downs and so it changes mm -hmm. also the view. Yeah. And we just love it. Love it so much. Wow. <laughs> Come on, Nala.
but wow, I confirm again, it's the best hike. Yeah, it's really stunning up here. Wow, it's really high. You can see literally everything from up here. It's so beautiful. And like, it's huge, huge. Bea doing the healthy one. <laughs> I was eating this. This place is insane, insane. And we're also seeing some hiking. Like small birds. eagles. <laughs> I don't know. They're birds of prey. This is the category, birds of prey. I have no idea. Yeah. Well, we're seeing so many of these birds. They're so beautiful. But every time we turn around <laughs> somewhere, it's just so incredible. Now, I think that we are... I was saying late, but because I was comparing with all the other people that came with us, because there's no one now here, and we are the last ones. Now, the beautiful thing here is that we are doing a circle. It's not quite a circle. Yeah, circle path. Circular path. Exactly, thank you. And now we need to go behind this little hill. For but us, it's the but highest it's one. Yes. And we have no idea what is waiting for us behind this one. Wow! <laughs> like a child. <laughs> we need to go there. Where those tiny ants are. Aha, uh -huh, it's all going on, baby. Okay. In the mud. <laughs> me a couple of steps and we are on the top. Eh? The next couple of hours, so much rain came down, so we worked a bit and then moved to our night spot. With some blue sky, just here. <laughs> sky, sky. Just here. In our next and last video of Sky, we're going to the most westerly tip of the island where our lighthouse is. Simon will test the fairy pools and we'll finally see some animals that we've searched a lot in the past weeks. Have you understood which ones? Subscribe to our channel to don't miss our last video and see you there!